Chapter 12, Money. Let's do an activity using notes and coins. So now let me draw a candy here. And I'm going to write a couple of prices here. There's two rupees, 10 rupees, and rupees 40. Now, a candy is something that's not so expensive. So we can rule out option 40, and we can also rule out option rupees 10. So here you could guess that a candy probably costs rupees 2. Let's try something else. I'm going to draw a pencil. And here are going to be the prices. Rupees 1. Rupees 4. Rupees 60. Now, a pencil is neither too cheap nor expensive. So we can definitely rule out rupees 60 for a pencil. Let's scratch that out. But to get a pencil for one rupee is also, usually doesn't happen. So let's cross that out too. So what do we have left with? Four rupees. You can get a pencil with rupees four. Let's try something more delicious here. An ice cream cone. And here are the prices. There's rupees 10. Then there's rupees 45. And there's rupees 500. Now, the cost of an ice cream cannot be rupees 500. That's way too expensive. So let's score that one out. Now, cost of rupees 10 seems not reasonable, at least not in the city. So let's cross that one out too. Now, rupees 45 is what we have left. And yeah, that seems pretty reasonable for ice cream. So I think let's go with rupees 45. Now let's try another one. If you like colors, I'm sure you'll be able to figure this one out because you probably go out and buy a lot of these. Let me draw here a packet of crayons. Here are the crayons inside. Now let's put the pricing right beside it. There's rupees two, rupees 40, and a rupees 150. Now, a pack of 12 crayons can definitely not be two rupees. Maybe a long, long, long time ago, but not now. Now, 150 rupees is just too expensive for crayons. So let's score out the last one, 150. Now, a pack of crayons could be available for 40 rupees. So that's the most reasonable answer. Next time you go to the store, observe the prices of different objects and learn to value money. Well, have fun doing that. Bye-bye.